Hey guys, I have a lot of questions here lately because of auctions moving to the mainstream. What do I need to bid at an auction? And people are um, anxious about that, which rightfully so. In a lot of cases, it's a, it's a new situation. There are basically three ways to participate in an auction now. Uh, you have the traditional live auction where a time is set that the property is going to sell. We needed a time and I bid out, I call out the bids until we find a winner and we sell the property. That's called a live auction. Another trend that's coming on is online auctions and they're very easy. You just sign on to our web page and follow the prompts through and put your information in and um, we'll approve you to bid and you can bid off your desktop or you can use your iPhone. We have an app and just go to the app store and download Sabbath Realty and you'll get our auction apps. Those are less intense obviously because nobody knows who's bidding on each other. You can see that it was just bid and you're out and you can bid again and so you don't get the adrenaline rush of a live auction. However, they're a lot more time effective. It's very exciting especially right at the end where all of you bidders are trying to get your best deal and pushing each other around a little bit. I enjoy watching that online. And then the next thing we have is simulcast auctions, which are a little bit of both. Uh, simulcast auction is a live auction that is simulcast across the internet and to our app. So if you're unable to attend a live auction, you can still use the app or your desktop to interact with the live auction and see what's going on on the camera. The camera's focused on me. You can see me calling for bids. And if I know you're in, I'll turn to the camera and talk to you. It's kind of fun knowing that I still know you're out there. And so that's basically the three options you have right now to participate in the auction world. If you find a property you like, you want to buy it for your home or an investment, just contact me. We'll make arrangements. You can come in, you can inspect it however you want. We don't care. Check it over. You can have it appraised. Whatever you want to do, have at it. You do need to make sure your money's in place. You need to talk to your lender. Most auctions are going to require 10% down. Some are more, some are less, but you can call the auctioneer and talk to them that explain all that to you. The terms are always pasted right on the, posted right on the web page. You can read through the terms and it makes it very clear when the closing times are on or before. Your title insurance, a lot of times surveys, uh, uh, receipts, different things that are pertinent to the property are posted right on the website so, so that you can download those and read them or have them with you. Uh, all of that stuff is made up front to you before the day of the sale. And then the day of the sale, set the price that works for you and win the bid. And it's just that easy. A lot of times on an auction, uh, more so than on a, on a private treaty sale, you can close within a week because the sellers are, m most of the time they're gone and ready to close because all the title work and everything's done. So you're at the auction and we've been visiting and you take your position here and you've got your number ready and I step up to the microphone and crack some jokes and tell you about the property. I always ask people, hey, have you got any questions? And, and then I start doing what's called an auction chant. Uh, and that's the fun part about the auction and people never know what I'm saying. But maybe I'll teach you a little bit so you understand what's going on. When you go to an auction, you don't want to hear the auctioneer say 50,000, 60, 60, 60, 60, 50, 50, 50, 60, 60, 60, 60. It's boring. So what we do is we each have our own individual chants, and it's a lot of fun to listen to if you pay attention to live auctioneers and good ones. For instance, mine, you would see me say 50,000, but I want 60. 60, would you give 70? 70 bid them on 80. 80 now 90. So. What it sounds like when you get going is 50 by 160, 60 would you give 70, 70 bit them on 80, now 90. It just rolls off your tongue faster. But it's easy to understand because most auctioneers are gonna say, I have 50, but I want 60. So you know the bid's 50, he's asking for 60, but it just sounds like 50 by 160. 
It's just a little faster in there between, but now you know what I'm saying when you hear me talking to you. Bidding in an auction is very simple, it's very easy, and it is a ton of fun. You cannot imagine how much fun it is to be out there prompting the auctioneer to go again and going again or um, winning that bid and getting clapped back by the crowd. Um, I just get a kick out of it. I would encourage you if you want to have some fun buying a property, come to a live auction and get involved and get your hand in the air and have a laugh with everybody if you don't win the bid and get a clap by everybody if you do. It is a good way to buy property and it's a lot of fun for all of us. I'll see you at the next auction.